Plans for the wall have been approved. Cuban commandant died. The UK has left the European Union. Which has caused a big crisis in Spain. Have also aligned themselves with people to test ballistic missiles. Fellow Tropicans, thanks to me, Tropico is an undisputed paradise. But the values of our paradise are now being threatened. Threatened by populists and despots. I, El Presidente, will prevent this. I accept the nomination for another presidential term. will make Tropico even greater, even bigger, and even better. Instead of walls, I will build bridges, bringing Tropico's islands and people together, rather than separating them. New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. I will bring diversity, culture, and the wonders of the world to Tropico, so that all other nations will look upon us with envy. Vote for Tropico 6 or else. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am C. Waddy Iso and today I'm here having my first look at Tropico 6. So I'm going to jump straight into the thing, I'm going to start working through the tutorials and the missions and then ultimately the sandbox. So, chapter 1, basics and economy. Do -do -do -do. Let's jump in, we're not going to mess around, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's see what this game has to offer. Welcome to Tropico. You are El Presidente, the dictator of Tropico. I like being a dictator. I'm already very happy by that. A small but thriving nation located somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. You will build, expand, trade and issue laws to guide Tropico through four turbulent historical eras in which you have to face global superpowers while trying to juggle interior political factions. How will you be remembered? As a benevolent leader who caters for the people? Or as a dictator ruling with an iron fist? I know which way I'm tending to lead. <laughs> Whatever you choose, the main thing is you stay in charge. Okie Hola, dokie. Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo, with a workout for your mighty brain. A formality, I know, for one of your brilliance. Yet even a politician servant must stay in practice. Please demonstrate a few of the leadership techniques with which you intend to impose your flawless will upon the nation of Tropico. Penultimo is prepared to gasp in awe. Complete all the tutorial tasks. Not a fool. You just met Penultimo, your personal assistant and most loyal consultant. He has presented a main task which you need to complete in order to finish the first tutorial lesson. Main tasks are automatically accepted and displayed with a golden icon in the task tracker on the left side of the screen. The task tracker lists all your tasks and you receive and displays a short summary as well as your progress on the objective. 
The objective of each tutorial lesson is to complete a certain number of tasks. Okie dokie. So this is the first tutorial task to complete. You will need to complete each tutorial task to finish the lesson. Like the main task, the tutorial tasks pop up automatically and are displayed in the list, the task tracker, after accepting them. You can still access all tasks, including their texts and all of their objectives in the task screen. Now follow the objectives listed below one by one in order to complete this task. Open the task screen and view each current task. Okay, so I guess I click on that. Complete all the tutorial tasks. We've seen that one. And then this is the first tutorial task. To complete, you'll need to complete each tutorial. Done. Task completed, one of four. As the first step to becoming the world's greatest dictator, it is important that you know how to control the camera so that you can admire your niche from different angles. Practice the different ways to control the camera. Pan the camera around, rotate the camera around, tilt the camera up and down and zoom in and out. Right, so... Uh, rotate the camera. Tilt the camera. Zoom the camera. And last but not least, obviously, oh, there we go. Okay then, when you want to have a better overview or want to move the camera somewhere else more quickly, Archipelago View is the tool for you. You can toggle it directly or automatically when continuing to zoom out. While in Archipelago View, you can pan and rotate the camera as usual, whereas zooming in will toggle Archipelago View off again. You can use Archipelago View to get back to your palace in case you got lost or getting acquainted with the camera in the previous task. Okay, so we can press the space bar. Woo! Right, now you've mastered the camera, let's take a look at the ways to control time. You can pause the game and choose from different speed settings. While the time is paused, you can still act, give orders and make decisions. The game world will react to your changes when you start the time again. Try the different speed settings now. Okay, so pause. <gasps> Resume. Set four times speed. Set one times speed. I am so proud of you, Presidente. Your control of your tropical is absolute. Amazing. Your loyal citizens do whatever you tell them to do, Presidente. They're not as loyal as Penultimo, of course. Nobody could be, but they are good for constructing buildings, making the transporting goods, and keeping the economy ticking over. If you want to be the world's greatest dictator, you need to make sure that you have a filled treasury for all necessary expenses. The basic way of making money in Tropico is to produce goods and export them. The dock and the Teamsters office are the main drivers of export. Teamsters fetch goods from production buildings and deliver them to the dock. There they are stored until the next freighter arrives. Freighters automatically load and export the goods stored in the dock. Right, we need to select the Teamsters and view their information. Okay, organises logistics on one island. Okay, so we definitely need one of them then. And then we need the docks, which is obviously where the ships come in and take our stuff and sell it. So we know what the docks do. Connect a mine to a new road that connects to the existing road. Okay, so we need to build the mine. Where's the mine? It's down here. No, we need a road. That's what we need. All right, so we've got to go from basically here to there. From Tropico with love, now that the mine is connected to the road network, the Teamsters will transport the gold to the dock. The next freighter will automatically export the gold, earning you money which is added to your treasury. Every time a freighter arrives, a newsfeed message will display the money earned from the export. 
Your current treasury balance is permanently displayed on the top left of the screen. Notice that you will need to have money in the treasury to construct new roads and buildings and that running costs like building upkeep and wages for workers will deplete your treasury over time. Export gold. Wait for the next freighter to export your goods. Okay, so we've got to export the gold. So the Teamsters are going to be shipping stuff out. And they're going to be building up all the gold. We can, obviously, I already know from certain things, we can make things um, more expensive. We can improve their efficiency. You know, we can raise the work mode and stuff. You know, we can do all that good jazz. You know, safe load. Obviously, we could upgrade second shift get more people all that blah 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 so we're just waiting now for the obviously him to export his his gold so that's what we're waiting on there's El Presidente's palace El Presidente he's got a nice little garden maze look I've customised this building in the um option screen before because I've got the El Presidente edition so that gives me quite a bit of good stuff Ooh, we can raise the budget get more people whack them up that's what I say six of six workers right crank the speed up a bit then Get the next freighter. How much have we got? Gold. We don't really have a lot, do we? Look, a boat. It looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. It warms Penultimo's heart to see the ships coming to Tropico and taking our goods out into the world. Not that what we make isn't good enough for Tropicans to use, of course, it's just that we make much more money when we sell them to our unsuspecting export partners. Other sources of income come from service buildings and residential buildings. Their profit margin is not as big as from exports, but their revenues are regularly credited to your treasury each month as rent or directly in the case of visitor fees from service buildings. Construct your first tavern now to provide your citizens with fun and get a little extra income. After confirming the location, construction office workers are sent to construct to the construction site to erect the building. Right, so we need a tavern. Right. That's one of these bad boys. And he wants us to place it. Where those houses are. Fine, we'll bulldoze some houses then. <laughs> Sorry, we just evicted half the Tropicans. Right, so some goods can be processed into refined goods that you have better export prices. That's the job of the industrial buildings in general. You can process the hides from your cattle ranch into leather using a tannery. Instead of bringing them to the dock for export, teams to trucks will deliver hides to the tannery when it is constructed and connected to the road network. As long as the tannery is staffed and has hides on stock, it will use them to produce leather. Right, so now we want a tannery. And it wants us to put it all the way down here. Which makes sense, because I believe this is our cow place. So our workers are going to build that for me. We keep shipping out the gold, which will be nice. Got a farm here, look. It's producing some of us. It's producing corn in monoculture. Right, we're going to need some workers. We've got five of five workers. And also, we've got different settings, upgrades, chrome tanning. Obviously, we don't want to spend all our money too fast. We've got some freighters coming in, lot. Shipping stuff out. 
Ragnar's doing a great job. I oh, knew cool. you would get the hang of this way of issuing orders. Remember, it's all about stuff. Build stuff to make stuff. Build stuff to move stuff. And build stuff to export stuff so you can stuff your pockets full of money. Of course, it is the Tropic and Treasury that is really getting stuffed. Wink, wink. No, El Presidente is taking the money. Making money is good, but you know what is better? Making more money. I like your thinking, Penultimo. The basic plan is to get things to make things to sell abroad, but every step of the way, there's something you can do to squeeze more money out of production. Okay. All produced goods are exported automatically, but there are some basic ways for you to manage your economy to save costs, improve the workflow, and increase your profits. And this is what this lesson is all about. Since you're currently producing leather anyway, you can commit to a leather trade route to get better price for a certain export volume. You cannot fail a trade route when you have unlimited time to complete it. Okay, so we need a trade route. And we need leather, and we're going to ship it to Mexico. To the Mexicans. I do. Woohoo! Right, have we got any corn we can ship out? Because we've got corn, haven't we? That's buying. Um, we've got milk, which we're selling. seeing much what else can we sell then can we, we've got cows haven't we can we sell milk we could sell milk to one of the peoples with the trade route signed you want to make sure your tannery has enough highs to keep it running from so let's build an additional cattle ranch Okay, the efficiency of some production buildings depends on certain properties of their location. To help you identify a suitable location, a coloured overlay will indicate the worst locations in red and the best in green. Identify the most suitable location for a new cattle ranch by comparing the resulting efficiency modifier, which is previewed in the construction panel. Have a ranch where cattle value is between 90 and 100. Place a cattle ranch on the best location. Connect the cattle ranch to a road that is connected to an existing road. Right, so we need another cattle ranch then. Okay, we need to place it somewhere where we're going to get a hundred potato bajillions. That's 95. Honestly, think there will do. Then we need to build a road then, because that's not connected. Now it will be. Ooh, lots of cows are getting made. We're going to sell the beef. Are you building? Where's my construction people? Let's make it a high priority. Come on! Come on, builders. Construction people. Just had to build it, just had to kickstart them a little bit. They were a bit slacksy daisy cool. Here we go. Here we go. Now they're building. the budget of your cattle ranches to maximum and check the efficiency tab on the building info panel on the ranch. Wait for the cattle ranches to be fully staffed. Right, so 
control click sets all the budgets. Efficiency is good. And waiting for the stack. We can do that. That increases it. plantations and hydroponics. Excellent stuff. Right. Wait for them to be fully staffed. You've got four workers. Um, install chrome tanning at the tannery. Right. That means we don't use as much hide. Waste as much. Fire one worker from the tannery. And close one worker slot at the tannery. Right. So I'm going to fire the worker. Close the slot. Switch the dock work mode from sniffer dog to regular control. Set both cattle ratchets to the human exploit work mode. Okay, so the docks are going to be regular controls. That makes it less secure. And then... So many exploit. ways to juice the fruits of the tropical economy. Right, first tutorial is done. Let's do the second one. That's taught us some of the basics. Kind of getting uh, a feel job for would it. Be so much easier without the citizens. Perhaps one day we will be able to replace them. Until then, we'd better learn how to keep them all happy. Right. Have you ever wondered about the shacks blemishing, blemishing your tropical paradise? Apart from looking shabby, living there does not really make the tenants happy, and you are missing out on rent revenue. Tropicans build shacks on their own whenever residential buildings with vacant flats are too far away from their workplace. So wherever you see a shack, you're seeing people who would rather live in a real residential building at the same location. Build bunkhouses. Construct two bunkhouses next to the fishermen's wharfs on Volcano Island. Right, bunkhouses. Right, you want a bunkhouse? Where? One there. And you want one all the way over here? No, I was looking at the wrong thing. I've got to look for where there's shabby shack. There we go, two bunkhouses built. They're probably a little bit too far away from anything important. Volcano Island, see, I probably could have built one there. I probably needed to build another one somewhere. Oh, I would have probably messed up. <laughs> they probably didn't want the bunkhouses there and there. Shabby houses, look, residential buildings. Right. El Presidente has completed building his two bunk houses. Woo! -hoo. A lot of a limiting factor for your citizens is their economic wealth. It defines what they can and can't afford. Residential buildings and service buildings alike have a required economic wealth. The economic wealth, broke, poor, well-off, rich and filthy rich is determined by the combined income of a couple and their number of children. Select a citizen working at one of the fishermen's wharfs. Right, I'm going to select a citizen. You are working. You lost? You're poor, you're uneducated. That's, that's a shame. Open the info panel of a fisherman and expect the town. I am sorry, not today, please. No happiness. Okay, overall happiness. Mm, could be better. Food is okay. Healthcare is all right. Fun, faith, housing, job, liberty, crime safe. Approval, they like me. So that's all well and good. 
The happiness aspects are all dated regularly. Whenever a citizen feels the urge to have fun, then they will try to find a building that is close by that they can afford, and which provides a high amount of happiness per visit. Disappointments reduce the happiness levels. Crime, safety and liberty are different, as they are updated whenever the citizen is spending time at home. If an individual's happiness levels get too low, it can have serious consequences for your citizens. They could become criminals, join the rebels, or even die if their food happiness drops to zero. Oh, wouldn't that be a shame if all our citizens starved? The fisher you just selected could use a bit of entertainment. So let's construct a building that provides that. Right. And we kind of want um, a tavern close to where his house is, probably. Um, so... I'm going to whack it in there so it's right near the wall. If he can get a pint on his way out after a day of fishing, you know. And it's not so close to his doorstep that, you know, he becomes a, a proper wino. <laughs> and he'd rather just spend his day drinking than actually doing work. That's good. And obviously we've got our lovely little fishy people. Hello, fishing people. Let's have a nizzle. Oh, here come the ladies. Here come the wenches. With the tavern constructed, it will soon attract workers and eventually the fishermen from before will visit it to improve their fun happiness. But ruling is not really about catering to the needs of individuals, but rather caring for the people as a whole. Statistics, demographics and average values are your friend. And they are part of the almanac. So let's have a look at what the statistics say about the fun happiness. Open the almanac and expect the fun happiness on the happiness tab. Oh, and we'll open the happiness tab and we'll click on fun. And it tells us that revenue from entertainment buildings is rubbish. And we have three entertainment buildings. We have two taverns and we have an opera house. I'm guessing not a lot of people can afford to go to the opera though. Would be my bet. As you could see in the almanac, not only the single fisher was low on fun, the average fun happiness of all your people combined is also quite low. To find out exactly where exactly fun is lacking and where to construct buildings to provide it, you can consult the fun coverage overlay. You already know it from placing a tavern, but you can also inspect it beforehand to identify residential areas with a low fun coverage. Hint, activate the archipelago view when using overlay to get better overview. Open the fun overlay, fun coverage overlay and inspect all three items. Okay, this is where we've probably messed up because we didn't lock all three islands. So this place over here is looking reasonable. And we'll go to the archipelago view. Right, so they're looking quite happy. This is like the rich area, I'm guessing. This area is kind of okay, could probably be better. And these guys over here are quite happy, so what's the next thing? The coverage tells you which residential buildings are close enough to entertainment buildings, which seems to be okay on all three islands. Waterfall Island only has an opera house to provide fun, but most of the people living there cannot afford it. Use the quality overlay. It displays the average happiness the tenants received the last time they wanted to have fun. Red means that tenants have low happiness, which is either because they cannot afford to visit buildings nearby and buildings are too far away. Or buildings are overburdened by the number of potential visitors. Right. So now we've got to go for fun quality. I have fun quality. Right, so these guys are not very happy. They've got red bits. Uh, these guys probably have red bits. So you're going to need a tavern. Are you making like rubbish piles there?
Right, we've got to build it over here somewhere then. Right, okay. There's a tavern. We've got to build one on Center Island, apparently. But over time, these taverns will obviously then make these people a little bit happier, which will be nice. And these people will like me more as El Presidente. And they will want to spend their time living on my islands. <laughs> and they will think I am the greatest ruler and dictator in the world. Right, so now we've got to build one over here somewhere. Right, where's all these people living? These are all the production places. Some shackies over here. Whack it in down there. Whoa, don't leave the mouse on the edge of the screen because that causes mouse scrolling. This will make all my peoples very happy that there'll be somewhere for them to go and eat and drink and be merry. So you're a tablet. Work mode. Mm. Efficiency. Alright, you've got plenty of workers. They're all working in the pubs. There's another one and it's being constructed. See, that is rubbish over there, isn't it? That's a construction site. So you will have a pub. You will have a pub. You will have a pub. We'll have an island of winos. <laughs> What are you doing just wandering about the place? This is El Presidente's house. Where is El Presidente? May I help you? That's Susan Everyone Romero. Happy. It's impossible, of course. So you have to play the numbers. In brief, you are number one. I am number two. And everyone else is way down there somewhere. Just remember to check the almanac to see how happy everyone is. To lower the budgets of buildings to make them cheaper for people to use, or to raise the budgets of buildings to make workers able to afford nice things. We now come to the troubling part of your job. Not everyone knows you are doing such great work. How crazy is that? People always think they know best, and sometimes you have to be political which means inventively bribing pressure groups to win those niggling elections. There is much to learn. Right. In the previous lesson, you learned about the overall happiness of your citizens. It feeds into their approval towards you as their leader. However, this is mainly determined by their political views. An individual citizen will orient their views towards some of the political factions in Tropico over time. There are different levels of commitment to a faction. Moderate, strong, Die hard, which determine how strong that faction influences the citizen. Instead of orienting towards a faction, a tropican can also remain indifferent on certain topics. Open the info panel of a citizen and inspect their political views. Right. Capitalists. Moderate capitalists. Right. You look like oh, a norm. What a day. Right. Views, capitalist, moderate, religious, strong, but she does seem to like me. Again, statistics are more helpful than looking at individuals. The Almanac tells you how many citizens support a faction, and more importantly, it displays the standing of each individual faction towards you and the government. The standing of a faction is passed down to the citizens oriented to that faction. Also, if the standing drops too low, a faction might start an escalation in which they use their unique means and influence to oppose you. Open the almanac and inspect the politics tab. Right. Who are we going to look at then? Right, so the religious, there's 90 supporters, and they're quite happy. There's 10 indifferent people and 17 indifferent peoples. Right. 
so you'll want to have a good standing with each faction. They have opinions on a lot of the decisions you will make, like building or demolishing certain buildings. All of these factors are listed on the Politics tab in the Almanac once they have taken effect. On top of that, they will approach you directly once in a while with specific tasks, which are called demands. You do not need to accept those if their objectives do not correspond with your vision for Tropica. However, completing them will significantly increase the standing, while not reacting or dismissing a, dis a demand will decrease the standing. Accept or complete or reject the faction demand. Do not right. panic, Presidente, but I bring do not news panic, of President. a so unthinkable, I cannot even tell you what it is. Right, the militarists want us to have a watchtower. Reward. Five military standing. Right, so we're going to build the watchtower. And we're going to put it on El Presidente. El Presidente Island. You can have a watchtower. In fact, you can have it right down here near the barracks. Then we can see anybody coming in. Do 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 do. Construction workers will run off and they should build that and make that prim and proper. There's our mine that we connected first time round. Build the watchtower, build it high. The best defense is a the best good defense. offense, Presidente. But as yet, I am only moderately offensive. Have watchtower. Five militarists standing. Excellent. Sometimes two factions will have a demand at the same time, forcing you to choose sides. Even if their request is the same, in this situation you will always lose standing towards at least the rejected faction. Dismissing a dual demand will anger both. After making the decision, the dual demand will turn into a regular demand. Accept the demand for the communists, or accept the demand of the religious. A I don't good really leader help listens either. to the people, Presidente. Show you care for your Tropican comrades, and win their hearts and souls. Though you do not get to keep them, okay? Speaking of souls, I'd imagine that El Presidente is looking forward to joining me in heaven, rather than going to the other place. The Good Shepherd looks after the sheep, don't you agree? I'm gonna build a bunkhouse. Complete the ultimatum, right. Your lack of respect for the military is unacceptable, Presidente. We're on the verge of a coup. Surely you know the risk of getting on the wrong side of the army. Please don't make me sit on Junta, Presidente. I don't want to be a politician. Build a bunkhouse. Right, so we need bunk houses. Right, home. So we're going to build a bunk house. Knock down the shacks. And then we're going to build another bunk house. Uh, build one. of bunk houses. Presidente, I am inspired. I have So they want two bunk houses. Right. So we've got to do it in a certain time period. What about over here? Did these guys need a bunkhouse? It is a great day for our comrades. We even had cake to s The best defense is a good offense, Presidente. But as yet I am okay. 
Remember, the political views of citizens, depending on the standing of the corresponding factions they determine, how much the individual agrees with your government. That together with the happiness determines the person's approval. Depending on their level of approval, a citizen will either be for you, against you, or will decide on election day. The percentage of eligible citizens who will vote for you is called support. You can find more detailed information on your support in the OM. So, this is politics. Support. Alright, eligible vote is 71. We've got 57%. We've got 23% undecided and we've got 19 against me. Ooh. Right, we need to hold an election speech. Every 10 years, the people will ask for elections. If you lose, you lose the game. So if your support is very low, it will be a short-term option to not allow elections. But if the, but this will directly affect all your voters on a personal level. Further decreasing their approval for some time. The good thing is you can decide to hold an election speech in order to sway some of the voters in your favor by using different rhetoric, rhetoric tricks tailored towards the current political situation. Hold an election speech. Okay. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. Shall we give them what they want, or shall we make them want what you want? I always want what you want, and you always want what you want. So shouldn't they also want what you want? I would deliver an amazing speech. Presidente, it is time for your election. This is a good opportunity for you to get undecided voters on your side. Please select the highlights of your of your um, speech. All right, we're going to do fun happy. Praise the faction. We are going to praise capitalists. Gonna blame a superpower. We're going to promise improvement and fun happiness. And we're going to deliver the speech. My tropicals, my people, my children. Your prosperity is my honor. Your solidarity is my faith, and I gracefully accept your love. You are my tropico. For one of my people. Oh, your president knows your troubles. Your rumbling bellies are as loud as your cheers. Well, no more rumbling. There will be plenty of food for everyone. Our ongoing prosperity is supported by the capitalists, with thanks. We're grateful for the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people, and your progressive attitudes towards taxation. I have heard it said that Tropico is no fun. Well, soon it will be twice as entertaining as it ever was, and half as boring too. That's, uh... Four times the amusement for everyone! It is you, my friends, who I thank for making me what I am today. I am proud to be your Presidente! Viva Presidente! <laughs> Here's Presidente, it's me! And I'm having to wander around, and I'm on my way to the newspaper to get myself a newspaper. Win the next election by enemy. The actual election will be held one year after its announcement. Until then, you still have the ability to raise your support by pushing faction standings or bribing faction leaders. Royal Pomultimo will come once more before the election to offer to rig the elections in your favour, guaranteeing you a certain victory at the cost of losing more people to the rebels after the election. Right. Right, so let's go look at the politicians. Politics, the capitalists, faction leader. Right. I'm gonna bribe him. Oh, 
all we see these days. Get a couple of them on the house. Right. Let's do some building stuff then. Right, we want some fun. Restaurant. I need to zoom out. That was a bit glitchy. What is going on with the map? Put a restaurant on El Presidente Island. These guys over here. Uh, could do with a house. I'll give you an apartment because you're building those little shanty shacks. And I don't like shanty shacks. I'm also going to build a restaurant. Can I not squeeze it in here anywhere? Apparently not. Guess what? Shanty shacks. Get rid of the shanty shacks. some bunk houses though you don't like shanty shacks we'll give you some bunk houses right you're living quite close to your place of work do with an apartment over here or two, couldn't we? Uh, let's have... Let's put in another pub. Right, and then we want to go to the fishing place. Where's the fishing? Uh, down here is where the fishes are. Right, and they're building bunk houses, so build a couple of bunk houses. Building up some shacks, look. A couple of country houses maybe. Rid of the shanty tat, the shanty shacks. Put in another, we'll put in another pub. And we'll also give them a restaurant. Have a restaurant. Little shanty buildings over here. So what we'll do? A country house. Building more little shanty shacks. Right, let's have a look then at the almanac. How's the support going? 65, opposition 20, right. Who's opposed to me at this point in time? Who 
who hates me? Well, like the militaries hate me. Yeah, right. Oh, I can't do that. Can I, um, can I, like, sack him? Can I banish him? That used to be a thing. May I just squeeze past, please? Briber. What did he mean by that? So we're building some stuff, which will all be constructed over the course of days. Uh, other islands are over here. Knowing where they all are. So, pollution. On coverage looks to be pretty good. On quality, these guys are whacking in more and more of these bunk houses. Shanty shacks. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Right. Um, what else can I do? It's pretty good. What we could do, of course, is find... Raise the budgets on all this sort of stuff. Make them obviously much happier peoples. What's that? That's the newspaper. That's doing okay. We haven't really focused a lot over here, have we now? What's going on here? So, this is the church. Raise the budget a bit. Increases pompous bells. Right, we've got grocery. It's where people get their foods from. Clinic with a state approved doctor. Bunkhead. Got the restaurant. Work no cloth napkins. Can't do anything with the freezer type stuff. Right. Then I put a tavern in here. I did. Yeah. Right, let's make sure we have set all of them to that. Right, we've got some more little shanty buildings building up here, which is all great. Can we put in? Mm. Public services. Let's put in a grocery. Have we got food for people? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. But not least, these 
people over here probably need a grocery of some sort. You can also do with a road. Let's get a public service, let's get a grocery for these guys. Let's crank the speed up a bit. We're nearly at the election. Things should be getting built. Population. Ooh, what's that? Support is going down, is that? And how are we looking support wise? Um, no, not that. Twenty four opposition, four <laughs> percent. Everybody loves me. And we're building all our stuff. Teams to boats are running about, look. Everything's got built. Port's gone up to 75%. We're on the rise. We're going to win the election. We are going to win the election. I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. I'm going to allow them to vote freely because I think they have a lot of support for me. I think they love me and I think they're big fans of the work that I do. Taverns in, we've given them bunkhouse, we've given them apartment buildings. Oh, support's just fantastic. It's rising up every day as we make our people's happy. Got some nice little small country residences. We could probably adjust the budgets a little bit on these. All good. Let's win the election. And we can the election say. is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. Yeah, of course the outcome was never in doubt. The people love their Presidente almost as much as your loyal penultimo does. And see, I have a present for you. Your very own wartime Medal of Valor for courage, selflessness and electability. It is made of chocolate, so be careful in the sun. 93 loyal Tropicans voted for you, and 8 individuals voted for your arrival. Hooray! So there we go, this is the Constitution of Tropico screen. We can change all stuff and things. the faction suite is the key to political success, it is also impossible, which is why politics is such good fun. Right, well that's tutorial two done. I will continue with the tutorials in the next video. But for now, thank you everyone for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please go ahead, click the like button if you have. Please leave any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback in the section down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, new to me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out and it keeps you up to date with all the videos that I post and upload. So from me, see what ESO, this has been my first look at Tropico 2, Tropico 6, and I will be back with some more videos very soon. Goodbye for now.